All right, gonna explain why I hate interracial marriage and why I believe Christians ought to support laws against interracial marriage. And here's what God thinks about interracial marriage. Numbers chapter 25, verse one to six. And Israel abode with Shittim, and the people began to commit whoredom with the daughters of Moab. And they called the people unto sacrifices of their gods, or unto the sacrifices of their gods. And the people did eat and bow down to their gods. And Israel joined together unto be Baal, Baal be pure. I guess I say it. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take all the heads of the people and hang them up before the Lord against the sun, and the fierce anger of the Lord may be turned away from Israel. And Moses said unto the judges of Israel, Slay every one of every one of his men that was joined unto Baal Peor. And behold, the men, one of the children of Israel, came and brought for, brought unto his brethren and Midianish. Midianish women in the sight of Moses and in the sight of the con all the congregation of the children of Israel who were weeping before the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And Phineas, the son of Elziar, the son of Aaron, uh, the priest, saw it. He rose up from among the congregation and took a javelin in his hand. And he went after the man of Israel into the tent and thrust both of them through the man of Israel. I thrust both of them through the man of Israel and the woman through her belly. So the plague stayed from the children of Israel. So what's going on there? Well, there was an interracial couple. There was a mixed race couple, an Israelite and a Midianitish woman. So the uh, Phineas, the priest, he came and basically killed them both. And it says how the plague stayed from the children of Israel. So God was going to send a plague. That's why. That's what God thinks about interracial marriage. It wasn't just them worshiping other gods. He was with another another kindred. It was an interracial marriage. So just like the sin of sodomy, the sin of interracial marriage brings God's wrath upon a nation because it's fornication. It's it's removing the distinction between the kindreds. God likes distinction. That's why I believe that. That's first of all why I hate interracial marriage because God hates interracial marriage. But also why I believe that. But Bible believing Christians who believe the Bible as the word of God should support laws against interracial marriage. You know, the people that were behind the decriminalization of miscegenation openly said, I, I mean, I heard they openly said that it paved the way for gay marriage and sodomy being legalized. The overturning of the anti-miscegenation laws paved the way for the overturning of the anti-sodomy laws and the laws against sodomite marriage. Interesting about that. And also the people that were behind the, the repealing of the anti-miscegenation laws in America were Jesuits. They had two Jesuit lawyers. But I believe, and you know, say whatever you want, but I believe that miscegenation is a very serious sin. It's up there with fornication and sodomy, and that Christians really should support laws against interracial marriage. Because look what happened right here. There was an interracial marriage, and Phineas killed the couple, and it spared, basically, God didn't pour out the plagues upon Israel. So, I want to get that out there. Interracial marriage is a very serious sin. It is fornication. It is sexual perversion. And Bible-believing Bible Christians ought to support laws against this sin. Because it's, it's unnatural. It's not normal to see an interracial couple. So, much of just my thoughts. I wanted to get that out there. So, God bless you. Goodbye.